Ten officers moved from other positions in the NT police are the first members of a new unit, the Territory Safety Division, tasked with tackling alcohol fueled and antisocial crime in Darwin. This team is an important part of making sure we stop crime before it happens. The unit will travel to different communities when problems flare, and the government has committed to paying for 50 more officers for it sometime next year. It's about $290,000 per police officer, and we're, we're funding an addition of 50. But the police force's plea for 200 extra officers is on hold until a review reports. I will support the police review and whatever recommendations that come from this. The police are responding to crime concerns by moving existing resources around, including sending 50 officers to Alice Springs for Christmas. We know that there's at least nine officers from the traffic unit gone down to Alice Springs to cover for that. Other communities also feel vulnerable. The crime and you know the police are overworked, I think. Tenant Creek leaders are dismayed. It's emerged police are investigating allegations a young child was sexually assaulted at the weekend. It, it's never ending, you know, um, what's happening in Tenant Creek. The place is sort of falling apart. Police say they'll do more in future to inform communities about serious allegations and crime. The public deserves to know what's going on in the community. There's no political interference. Um, it's a gap we're working on. The government isn't conceding crime could lose at the election. Let's be clear, the CLP don't have any answers. It's up to Territorians to decide that in August next year. While moving police around might make some communities feel safer in the short term, whoever wins government is going to have to grapple with how to fund the resources police will need long term from an already overstretched Territory budget. Jane Barton, ABC News.